All righty. Today is the 3rd of October, and this is Greta's kids. They're all out here on the ground playing. And it's nice and, oh, it's beautiful out here today. They're not sure about where they're at because I threw them out here behind the grass. I've got Dreamer's kids are out here too. They're on the grass behind this plan, and I knew that if they saw them, they'd scream. So we're shooting these up here and trying to be incognito so they don't know that we're up here. <laughs> That's funny. They're watching us. So these guys are doing super, super good. They are using a door to go inside and outside. Um, starting to get the whole potty idea. They go outside to potty and they've got a 20 foot run on the outside of their kennel and they use it to their advantage, which is awesome. Saves up cleaning up so much inside. Uh, they're doing really good. They are current on their wormings and they will get their six week shot. Usually it's, I try and do it right on their birthday. This is a little one with the pink collar over here. What I did was I went through, I'm in the middle of taking pictures. Ooh, that got really bright all of a sudden with the sun, didn't it? Um, I've got some of them done. I've still got most of the blacks to go. So I'm doing the video first, and then we're going back in and finish pictures. Uh, nothing really new. They're playing like crazy. They're very social. We've been giving them a bath every week. Uh, we've been doing their toenails every week because they grow so fast it's unreal. Trying to make this thing go in the center with my light so it's not quite so. You know, I am still not yet to be an iPad perfectionist, but uh, I'm working on it. Um, we have been trimming faces, doing hygiene clips about every 10 days, and toenails are done every week. They get so sharp, it is unbelievable. Um, you probably, when you get them home, are going to want to keep an eye on nails. If you do them weekly, you'll retain your hardwood floors and your leather furniture without them tearing the holy pajibis out of it. This is the Merle over here with the neon green collar, I think. I just got a the party Merle. Yep, there's that neon green. The royal blue is behind him, and the purple is on the far side. Purple is actually coming towards us. The hard ones to tell, this little one over here with the pink collar uh, is still playing with that one leaf. She keeps jumping at it and getting it and she's having a good time over there all by herself. She's hoping nobody comes and bothers her leaf. Oh, uh, there we went dark again. Um, they're eating dry dog food. They still get probiotics in the morning. They still get their uh, cottage cheese. So nothing has changed with that. Um, I know I get a lot of people ask me, why do I do cottage cheese? Well, cottage cheese has tons of vitamins, calcium, protein. It is great for them. Keeps them a nice layer of fat on their body. Uh, they get a little bit extra out of that. If mom is uh, running short on milk that day, uh, they take a lot of milk out of her at this age. We are also feeding them uh, fresh goat milk. I have a friend that milks goats and she does it for a lot of us in the area some of it for uh, uh, like if your baby quits drinking formula I've got a, she's got a couple babies that do goat milk and I do the puppies on goat milk so I pick up three gallon a week from her and they're drinking about a half a gallon a day between them so on top of what I feed they still nurse uh, but Greta is getting tired of them she's starting to growl at them when they get in their food so we put her in in the morning and we put her in at night and in the daytime they get the goat milk. Uh, that way we, they stay safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through the birthday, uh, birthday list, yeah, their microchip list where I recorded all their weights and their mic. I'm trying to move around here without making you seasick because they're all huddled up by my feet. Now they're all going to come down here. Go figure. All right. So let me get started. Um, I know it'll be tough. I'm not going to try and find your puppy's collar while I'm doing this. Uh, I will try and spot them out for you as we go. So hold on a minute while I get my pictures ready, my paper ready. All right. So the first on my list is 6621. It's the light pink collar. Actually, she's right down there on the right there at the top of the frame. Um, she is three pounds, 10.5 ounces. 6623 is the next one. It's the forest green collar. And I have no idea where to tell you she went. He went. It's a she. Oh, she's over there in the corner. 
She's the black and white over there in the corner. She's four pounds, 1.5 ounce. 6641 is the neon green collar, which we spotted a little bit ago. Um, right there below me with the black ear. There we go. That is a neon green. Uh, three pounds, 12.5. 6639 is the royal blue collar. And where did the royal blue collar go? I can't spot it right off the top of my head. So, um, it's the, I can't find it. I'm sorry, it's 6641 is the neon orange collar. I looked at the wrong line. This is tough to do with nobody holding my book and me trying to follow puppies. Uh, so anyway, the neon orange collar is 6641. Microchip is three pounds, 12.5. Now we've got 6639, which is the light blue, not royal blue, but light blue. And I have a feeling they're on the other end. I think so. Yeah, that's the party Merle. They're down there on this end playing. Uh, three pounds, 14.5. Neon green is the 6634. I guess the 6623 was the forest green, sorry. But that's okay, we're right. Neon green is three pounds, six ounces. Now we're into the blacks. 6631 is the red collar. Three pounds, 7.5 ounces today. The yellow collared puppy, and I don't spot the yellow right off the top of my head. I think it's the one right over here with the leaf on the center of the floor is three pounds 5.5 the royal blue collar is 66.22 and he is right there playing with the teddy bear 66.33 is the neon pink which we watched earlier and she's still up here chewing on leaves she's up here trying to dig him out of the corner of the cage all right the last one in here is neon orange which is right there next to us there you got a good shot of that neon orange there's the yellow and the neon pink and the neon orange is three pounds and two ounces. So that'll kind of give you an idea. So there's the, there's the yellow collared one, and there is the neon orange one, the black pup under us. There are still four puppies in this litter that are available. So if you go to Greta's page, it will show you under the photo, it will say available or sold pending arrival of deposit. I try and keep the website current daily. So, um... If you have any questions or you're looking at one of them that is available and you're not 100% sure, give me a call because sometimes if I'm gone during the day and I get a phone call, I'll hold the puppy till I get home to mark it. But normally we keep it really pretty accurate. Um, what else can I tell you? Well, the biggest thing I can tell you too, I know there's several puppies in this litter that are being shipped. So... Um, you should have already gotten your box. If not, boxes did go out on Friday, I think it was. Thursday or Friday. So boxes are gone. You should be receiving it. Probably should have received it by now. If you haven't, please let me know because I did do them with tracking numbers on them. Uh, also, I sent out videos and uh, vitamin information. Those came to you in two separate emails. One for the vitamin information and one for the videos. So please let me know if you did not receive that information and I'll resend it to you. Um, if you didn't receive it, uh, shoot me a text with your email address on it so I can confirm with the email address I have here on my records to make sure that it's the correct one on my end or maybe I just goofed up and sent it out wrong. But so far I haven't heard from anybody so Hopefully everybody got your stuff. I sent it out as a group email uh, for everyone in the litter, so you should have gotten it. But if not, please let me know and I'll be glad to do that again. Um, golly, what else can I throw at you? Um, I would set down rules, boundaries, and limitations with these guys when they go home. Do not let them have the run of the house. The other thing is, I had a lady call today about a puppy and she's interested in having uh, daycare. Daycare is not a good idea. Uh, when you start training and you get them on a decent schedule and you're really starting to make headway with your training, as far as like normal habits you do want them to do and do not want them to do, 
A lot of daycares turn them all loose in this big play area and it's a free for all. So when you get your, ki your kid back at the end of the day, it's like, and I know many of you will understand exactly what I mean since I was divorced and I'm sure many of you were. Um, when you send your kids to your exes for the weekend and you get them back or a week's vacation with uh, the other parent, you get them back and you think it's not even your own kid because they don't behave or act the same. That's what most daycares do to your dog. So they do not have to go to daycare. They are more than able to stay at home in their crate during the day. Or if you want to put an X pin up, uh, an X pin works great to keep them in if you don't want to do a crate. But yeah, daycare is absolutely not something you have to do with your dog at all. Oh, here we go. We're going to get a game of tug of war. Well, I know I'm over my 10 minute limit, so I'm going to get out of here. Uh, your pictures should be on. Probably we'll see this about the same time you see your pictures or maybe a little bit before. So I hope you enjoyed their video. We'll have more video next week and we'll have new pictures for you. So I hope you have a great rest of the week and we'll talk to you later.